Dwayne Johnson is called The Rock for a reason. He has a chiseled body that guys and girls alike are both in awe of. While it's easy to idolize The Rock's physique, it's much harder to emulate it. For those of you brave enough to try, these steps can point you in the right direction. Stay tuned to see how The Rock keeps his physique well into his 40s. Before we begin, like this video, subscribe to The Richest, and join our notification squad. And while you're at it, check out our community tab for all kinds of neat content. Now, here are Dwayne Johnson's insane diet and workouts that make him ripped. The first thing we should talk about is how The Rock got such a rocking body in the first place. But to do this, we have to go all the way back. All the way to 1985, when the future superstar was only 13 years old. He began his fitness journey because of bullying and poverty. When The Rock was young, he was constantly changing schools because his dad was on the road searching for work. Being the new kid, this made him a target for bullies. I don't like bullies. However, instead of crying about it, he got motivated. He started hitting the gym every day. And not long after, he was bullying the bullies. Just kidding. The Rock insists he was never a bully. I think I'm a very strong puncher. But if people started fights, he'd have no choice but to finish them. His dedication to physical fitness led to early football success, which culminated in a national championship with the University of Miami Hurricanes and a brief stint in the Canadian Football League. After being cut by the Calgary Stampeders, Johnson decided to become a professional wrestler, of which his anatomical aesthetics were a prime attraction. With that body, and not to mention his famous mouth, The Rock made a seamless transition into acting. He's now one of Hollywood's most prized action stars, a title that requires him to maintain his physique. However, this is far from the only reason why he keeps in such good shape. Health is the biggest motivator, which is why diet might be the most important part of The Rock's lifestyle. It's gonna consist of uh, seven whole meals. As anyone who has tried to improve their physique knows, diet and exercise are inseparable. You can't have one without the other. Dwayne Johnson takes this principle to its absolute extreme, combining exercise with an astounding mix and amount of food. On a regular day, Johnson eats over 4,000 calories. These come in seven meals. While Khan used to make up four of those meals, Meal three, I believe it's a cod. The Rock admitted on Twitter back in 2016 that he stopped including the fish in his diet. He was so dedicated to his nutrition that he used to eat that stuff for breakfast. Gross, right? Nowadays, Johnson seems to stick to eggs and oatmeal for breakfast. Other foods consumed throughout the day include sweet potato, chicken, rice, steak, and spinach salad. It should come as no surprise that the portions are quite substantial, with each meat product alternating between 8 and 10 ounces. What may come as a surprise is what The Rock eats before bed. His bedtime snack is 30 grams of casein protein and a 10-egg white omelet with assorted veggies. Also, he takes one tablespoon of omega-3 fish oil. Clearly, eating right is the answer to many of The Rock's fitness secrets, but we're just describing regular old Dwayne Johnson. Wait until you hear what he eats when he's preparing for an acting role. To get his body Hercules-esque for the movie Hercules, The Rock up the ante by consuming 5,470 calories a day for six months. These also came in the form of seven meals ranging from 285 to 947 calories each. This regimen paid off, as The Rock was rock hard in the movie. Of course, without a comparably rigorous exercise regime, this kind of diet would make a person obese in no time at all. But this is The Rock we're talking about here, and 260 pounds of muscle needs a lot of maintenance. If you feel like your diet is a joke in comparison, just remember that The Rock gets a lot of professional help and advice in the food department. Messy, you miss out. If you're faint of heart, skip this next part where we detail Johnson's weekly workout routine. The Rock exercises six days a week. The first day is leg day. He begins his routine by doing 30 to 50 minutes on the treadmill and then has four sets of 25 reps of barbell walking lunges, four sets of 25 reps of leg presses, three sets of 20 reps of leg extensions, and four sets of 12 reps of barbell squats. He finishes the day with various sets and reps of hack squats, Romanian deadlifts, seated leg curls, and the thigh abductor. Day two is for the back. Again, The Rock begins with 30 to 50 minutes on the treadmill and then starts the heavy lifting with four sets of 12 reps of wide grip lat pull downs, bent over barbell rows and one arm dumbbell rows. He then does three sets of 10 reps of deadlifts, three sets of pull-ups to failure and finishes back day with the dumbbell shrug, inverted row and hyper extensions. Day three is dedicated to shoulders. After cardio, Johnson does dumbbell shoulder presses, standing military presses, front dumbbell raises and side lateral raises. He closes it out with four sets of 15 reps of reverse machine flies and four sets of 12 reps of bent over rear delt raises. Day four is for arms and abs. This day consists of the obligatory cardio as well as bicep curls, hammer curls, spider curls, tricep pushdowns, overhead triceps, hanging leg raises, rope crunches, and Russian twists. 
All workouts are three to four sets in between 15 and 20 reps. Day five is another leg day. Yes, The Rock does two leg days. This leg day has the same exercises as the first one. On day six, The Rock focuses on his chest. This consists of four reps of 12 sets of medium grip bench presses, inclined dumbbell presses, and dumbbell bench presses. Four sets to failure of flat bench cable flies, four sets of 12 reps of inclined hammer curls, and four sets to failure of chest dips. Of course, cardio is also involved. On the seventh day, The Rock rests. We can't emphasize cardio enough for keeping you chiseled, and neither can The Rock. Don't skip cardio, kids. But also, don't do too much cardio if you want a body like The Rock's. The lifting needs to outweigh the running. For Dwayne Johnson, this is very easy to accomplish. While we've talked about the reps and sets of The Rock's workout, we have yet to talk about the weight. Surprisingly, he doesn't lift too much. Okay, don't get us wrong, he still lifts more than 99% of people on the planet. However, since he's an actor, not a professional weightlifter, he's not lifting to break records. He's lifting to craft a body up to his standards. He does this by using reasonable weights for his size. Of course, being 260 pounds means reasonably sized weights are different for The Rock than most people. He was seen in an Instagram video doing 15 reps of 275 pounds on the bench press. However, the press came very easy to Johnson. So easy that he pauses for two seconds before every upward press to increase tension. This means that 275 is far from the maximum weight he can theoretically press. While he has refused to answer any questions regarding his one rep max, it's been estimated, based on Johnson's size and appearance, that he can bench press at least 450 pounds and possibly over 500. Since The Rock is so tall, bench pressing comes less easy to him than someone much stockier but of comparative build. The easiest way The Rock ensures that he never misses a workout is by starting really, really early. We mean 4.30 a.m. Johnson sleeps only 3-5 to five hours a night and does his first workout, the all-important treadmill run before breakfast. After the hefty breakfast we've previously described, Johnson moves into weightlifting, taking a mere 60-90 to 90 second rest in between exercises. This means The Rock can power through a day's workout in an hour and 15 minutes. However, sometimes he does another one at night. The Rock doesn't always do his workouts in the same way and at the same time. While he hardly ever misses a day, he sometimes has to exercise at odd times, especially when an acting job compels him to spend all day at the studio. This is the point where money makes all the difference. You are probably waiting for this moment, when The Rock's bank account allows for exercising excellence that the most dedicated low-income weightlifter can never match. Johnson has the luxury of never having to travel to public gyms because he has a 45,000-pound portable gym that follows him wherever he goes. It takes hundreds of crew members to assemble the gym, which is constructed whenever The Rock has an extended stay away from home. The gym, which The Rock is nicknamed the Iron Paradise, consists of treadmills, dumbbells, barbells, and all kinds of racks and presses, and is transported by several 18-wheeler trucks. Besides being a traveling portable gym, the Iron Paradise is unique for several other reasons. Firstly, the dumbbells go up to 150 pounds instead of the standard 100. Secondly, there are none of the contemporary gym necessities, which The Rock considers distractions, like cucumber water and mirrors. Finally, there is a fully functional kitchen in the back, so The Rock doesn't need to worry about finding the 4,000 to 5,000 calories he needs in a day. Dwayne Johnson has come a long way from the days of public gyms, bullies, and steroids. We have to mention the elephant in the room. As with anyone who looks like The Rock and has climbed the rungs of professional wrestling, there is always speculation as to whether they've used performance-enhancing drugs. As for current Dwayne Johnson, the answer is an emphatic no. At least, that's what he tells us. But he has done steroids in the past. Johnson admitted in an interview that he tried the PED with his friends when he was 18 or 19. He said he didn't know anything about the drug, and as soon as he learned its full effects, he dropped the stuff and presumably never touched it again. Many people don't believe this claim, citing the way The Rock looks now as a 46-year-old as compared to his looks as a professional wrestler. They believe this transformation can only be caused by steroids. But that isn't true. The Rock is a naturally muscular guy with a sophisticated workout regime. More importantly, he says he doesn't do them. With no evidence whatsoever to implicate the action star, we should take his word on it. The Rock's body is natural, even if it wasn't in the past. Only one thing remains to be talked about regarding The Rock's workout regime. Some of you will consider it irrelevant, while others will think it's one of the most important parts of a workout and are dying to hear The Rock's choices. We're talking about playlists. Yes, The Rock has a workout playlist just like the rest of you, and he's been kind enough to release it to the world. The playlist resides on Spotify as Iron Paradise Airwaves and begins with the song We Ready by Archie Eversole. Then there's Rocky Mountain Way by Godsmack, One Life Last Breath by Booyah Tribe, and Everybody But Me by Tech 9 Busy, and Chris Calico. Other artists included in The Rock's playlist are Rihanna, Metallica, Migos, Nicki Minaj, Tupac, Public Enemy, Cardi B, Kendrick Lamar, and Disturbed. What does The Rock finish his workout to, you ask? None other than Gripped Up by Casanova. To work out like The Rock, you need to jam out like The Rock. That's all for Dwayne Johnson's insane diet and workouts that make him ripped.
What's the craziest exercise regimen you've ever tried? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.